My family first came to Northeast Wisconsin seven generations ago in 1845. Family taught me the value of hard work, of service to community, of service to country. And even though I may not have known it as a kid growing up, that's what set me on the path to joining the Marine Corps. I joined the day that I graduated from college and in 2005 when I went to OCS and I graduated in 2006. When I stood in church the day I graduated and I raised my right hand and I, I swore an oath to support and defend the Constitution, I believed in it sincerely, but notions of service to country uh, and even going to war were still abstract in my mind. All I knew is that our country was engaged in something pivotal and I knew that I had to be a part of it and I felt I, I owed an enormous debt of gratitude to my family, to this community in Northeast Wisconsin, to everyone that helped raise me and all the experiences I had and I wanted to pay back a debt I felt I owed and I just felt that if I looked back and I didn't do my part, that I would regret it. We need people who will step up and serve. We need leaders. We need leaders who are ready to fight every single day to protect our rights, to protect what makes us great as a country. who will fight to get government off our back, out of our wallets, and to keep us safe, and to get Congress to do its actual job. We need leaders who will put service to country ahead of selfish ambition. We need a new generation of leaders who will work tirelessly to fix problems rather than punting them to the next generation and restore that generation's trust in limited good government. I'm always skeptical when politicians from Washington, D.C. come to us and promise us that they can fix all our problems. And I tell people, the truth is we don't want people in Washington, D.C. to solve all our problems. Because when they try to, they end up screwing things up. And we know that the best solutions to our problems often come from the bottom up from our local communities, from our own families, who can make better decisions for their future than bureaucrats and career politicians thousands of miles away. And I tell people, here's the promise that I am prepared to make to you. It's that if you give me the honor of serving the 8th Congressional District in Congress, of standing in the Capitol in January 2017, and raising my right hand and swearing an oath to support and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to that oath because it's the exact same oath I took 10 years ago when I volunteered to serve my country and I stood in the church the day I graduated college and I joined the Marine Corps. And I will work harder than anyone else in defense of our Constitution on behalf of this community and on behalf of your families, our state, and our country. And you will know beyond a shadow of a doubt that your congressman is ready to fight every single day for this country and for Wisconsin's future. I'm Mike Gallagher and I approve this message.